going on beasts? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I've posted a face-to-face -face video and I hope you enjoy. Today we're going to kick off with a full day of training. We're going to look at recapping my previous series which was the 30-day hyper-focused ground zero program and from there we're going to talk about the future of the channel. Before we go any further, I've been posting daily content on TikTok, Instagram and YouTube shorts. Now, you might like YouTube for longer, more in-depth, rich content videos, but if you're looking for more shorter, fast-paced videos that are posted more regularly, head over to either my Instagram or my TikTok. Both those links will be in the description for you. Follow, join that club, and I do post a lot more consistently on those platforms, as well as obviously YouTube Shorts, but it's what you prefer to watch uh, and what suits you guys. From here, we're gonna cover a recap of the 30-day bench press program that I've just completed uh, probably about 30 days ago, uh, as I'm recording this video right now. Uh, it is the 18th of June. Um, and before I went out uh, for work, went away for work for about three weeks, I completed the last session of the 30 day program. And here's how we went. This is a bit of a recap. Um, starting off, what went well, I believe my bench press volume and my ability to perform the bench press has improved drastically. My technique has progressed from day one, week one, all the way to day 30 of that program. And I feel like my volume under that load during that program also improved. However, what needed to be improved, uh, I still saw that my tricep lockout was the key component of why I was failing the bench press, which unfortunately did cause me to not be able to PB when I got to max out week. But as always, we learn from our failures and that I definitely did learn from. Um, not always, you're gonna to get to the end of the program and succeed. Uh, that's just a testimonial to the consistency and being consistent from a longer term period of time will obviously enable us to improve and become better athletes, better people, uh, and just be better in general. So uh, I did fail, it does suck, but it is what it is, as they always say. What I've also personally learned from that program uh, is that I actually have a small shoulder impingement. Now that's not a big deal when it comes to uh, the injury and uh, what can be caused. I, I saw a physio about it uh, and all it is is I started to feel a little bit of pain in my chest. I thought it was maybe because I was overdoing it, but all it was was I was not priming one of the muscle groups uh, in my uh, external rotators. Um, enough for that kind of bench press work. So I've learned from that uh, and I can move on and uh, be better um, at bench pressing and pressing in general, knowing that I've got that little bit of an issue uh, and it's an easy fix. It's just a little bit of a primer before I start and there's legit no pain after that. Now that we've covered the recap from the previous program, let's get into the full day of training. Uh, this was Monday of this week. Uh, which works out to be something like the 13th or 12th or something like that of June. Um, so earlier this week, I recorded this session and this was a deload week. I've just come back after three weeks of essentially no training um, and getting back into it. You don't want to rush straight into it and just, you know, attack, attack, attack. You want to ease yourself back into load volume, condition yourself to wait and obviously take it a little bit easier when it comes to all those things because jumping in too quickly could cause injury or potentially just not refreshing your body on that technique, the, the good habits, the good cues could cause injury as well. So we start off today's session with one set of two deadlifts at a seven RPE. Nothing crazy heavy, um, just looking at getting a little bit of load on the barbell and obviously producing good technique. Now in my notes for this, I've written that I didn't have a belt on. Um, for me, a belt is a good tool enables us to produce more force, uh, feel safer and more locked in with our core. And it gives our core something to push against in the lift itself. And without it, uh, I did feel a little bit naked, a little bit raw, uh, but it wasn't a big deal. I still was able to achieve uh, 170 for a double. And then from there, it was two sets of eight at a six RPE. So leaving four reps left in the tank, I was able to achieve uh, 120 for the first set, which I actually felt was too light and I decided to go up to a 125 kilos 
for the second set of eight. From there, I decided to hit some rack press, um, build to a heavy five, and then five reps at 95%, five reps at 90% of what you achieved of your heavy five. I hit 100 comfortably, which I was quite proud of, knowing that in the 30-day bench press program, 100 was the kind of weight that I was looking at hitting during my peak. So to be able to come back after three weeks of no training and hit that kind of weight, um, I'm both proud and amazed, uh, considering I've also lost seven kilos of body weight, and I believe a majority of that is muscle. Um, so to get, hit those kind of numbers, excellent, awesome, I'm happy. Of course, 95% would have been 95 kilos, 90% would have been 90 kilos for five repetitions. Uh, our accessories for that session was three sets of eight chin-ups um, at an eight RPE. Um, it was eight plus, so the final set was a max effort intensity set. Uh, to your disappointment, I hit eight reps on the intensity set. Uh, I had nothing left in me, uh, but three sets of eight, essentially, it was pretty good. Um, and the workout. The workout of the day today was just a nice, light, easy AMRAP. 18 minutes, 30 slam balls, 15 burpees, 30 Russian swings with a 6 kilo slam ball and a 16 kilo kettlebell. Like I said, deload week, I've kept it lighter, kept it easier. However, I actually didn't expect the intensity and the difficulty of this workout as I got towards that 9, 10 minute mark. This was a very heavy posterior chain workout. Slam balls, obviously, you know, it's a big hip hinging movement, but you're also picking up a load, a small load, but a load nonetheless off the floor, uh, which definitely causes a little bit of tension through the hamstrings, the glutes, and the lower back. You've got burpees, everyone's favorite. Uh, 15 burpees, no issue there. But then 30 Russian swings, even with a 16 kilo kettlebell, you're still doing an opposite hinging movement. Um, we are looking at uh, opening the hips up rather than closing them to pick up that ball, but we're still working the glutes, the hamstrings, and that posterior chain, uh, mainly the lower to mid back. Um, so it was like a back assault in that workout. Uh, probably a little bit harder than what I wanted for especially a uh, deload week workout, but these are the things that you learn from practice, refining those skills and becoming better. So that was the full afternoon training session. Uh, just a nice deal week if you want to jump on something a little bit easier just to get the body back into it if it has been a long time for you guys. Let me know in the comments down below uh, what your training cycle is at, what you need help with, and these questions I can definitely answer in that comment section. Um, or send me a DM on Instagram. Um, once again, if it's not something you want to explain or share with everyone, I can help you out with that nevertheless. Finally, the last topic of today is the future of the channel and the new program slash app that we're looking at doing on Absolute Beast right here. So what's coming up next? I'm looking at hitting longer videos uh, every week to slash fortnight, depending on how life takes me. Um, this was actually a poll that I put out a couple of weeks ago. Now, I wanted to go know your guys' feedback. I actually found that that daily slash uh, twice a week videos format wasn't working for me. I, I didn't enjoy creating the videos as much as the one I'm doing right now. I love being the face of attention. I love you guys staring right at me into your soul, getting that gaze, getting that more personal connection as personally you can from my uh, office room, from my house. 
um, but I feel like this way it's a bit more interactive. You guys can see me. Um, it's more genuine, um, and I enjoy these types of videos more. More CrossFit content. Uh, definitely, definitely, I'm looking at adding to the channel. Uh, more things CrossFit. More stuff about you know just beginner CrossFit tips, beginner CrossFit tricks, um, and certain things that uh, you know will help you become from a beginner to a beast. Which leads me into the new program. Uh, I'm creating a program and integrating it with an app, and this way um, I can help people become better, better beginners, and become that transition from that beginner towards that intermediate slash elite athlete, which I find not a lot of programs out there are for the beginner, for the newbie, for someone who's just getting started in the CrossFit realms. So many programs, you got Hard Work Pays Off, CrossFit Mayhem, Comp Train, Training Think Tank, all of these programs are designed for the elite of the elite and people jump onto these programs ill-prepared or potentially not ready for the type of volume or conditioning they're about to do and they either burn out, they get sick of CrossFit or they injure themselves, which is not what we want. So I, I would love to have a program for you guys that will get you from where you are now uh, to hopefully that level where you can start those programs and not get yourself hurt and be in a good position to make good open scores, potentially hit the quarterfinal and even if you are at that level, semi-finals or the games. That's pretty much the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys uh, are doing well. Of course, leave in the comments down below any future content you would like me to make. Um, I know there's one video that I'm definitely thinking of doing, but if you've got any more uh, ideas, uh, any more things that you would like me to cover, me to do, uh, even just if it's a review, a program review, anything like that, leave it in the comment down below. As always, subscribe to the channel. Check out my website, absolutebeast.org. Follow me on TikTok, on Instagram, this channel, and I hope you guys at home stay a beast.